Peace, peace, family. Today, let's talk about Papa Legba and Tehuti. A lot of people don't know that energy can be destroyed, only transferred. It may dissipate, but energy is forever. So to say that is to say that the gods and the goddesses never die. They reincarnate and they transmutate their energy. So Papa Leva always was and always will be. It's just that a different point of time, a different period of time or a different place time he may have been another entity um i kind of want to start with tahuti first and then i want to go on the papa lake but, you know what and what not um, as far as tahuti he is like the god or the neturu of wisdom knowledge divination which kind of ties into a little bit of barumula um He's also the nature of writing, advanced writing, alchemy, things of that nature. So we know Tehuti was the one who basically wrote the indestructible, the indestructible tablets of Tehuti. You know what I mean? Or the more generic word or name, thought or thought. Which we basically know that Tehuti later became Hermes. So that's to say that all the Greek gods come from the African gods. And that's where you basically get the Kabbalion. The Kabbalion is basically Greek and Egyptian or Hermetic philosophy. So when you go into the Hermetic, whatever type of studies, you're really dealing with Tehuti. So um, making the comparisons with him would not. Well, Tehuti, he always walked around with a staff or some type of scepter with serpents, the same way Moses did according to the Bible, you know what I mean? Because we know he's a fictional character. But, you know, just go with the, the flow. Um, Hermes walks with a staff or a scepter as well, with serpents, which represents knowledge, wisdom, and healing. And the same thing with your medical associated staff, you have the serpents. So, Papa Leva, what does he walk with? You know, Papa Leva walks with a cane. So, you know, he got the cane you got the staff, you know. It may be different to a degree, but they're identical in nature. You know what I mean? Um, to Hootie, you know, he always walks around with the key, the key of life, the unk. I mean, who be having the keys? You know, Papa Leva. Papa Leva be having the keys, you know what I mean? Like, he walks around with the keys. Uh, to Hootie, he's also like the nectar the nature of, 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 of wisdom, but in that wisdom, you know, you could tell him any joke and he already knows the joke, or he can answer any joke, you tell him any riddle, you can answer any riddle, or if there isn't any riddle that he doesn't already know. Who does that sound like? It sounds like Papa Legba, you know what I mean? Like, Papa Legba can read your thoughts, he can speak any language, he knows whatever riddle you're going to tell him before you even tell him, or any joke, and he already knows the answer to it, but... He still wants you to tell it, you know what I mean? Just to see if he's going to do it because he wants to be entertained. So, you know, you kind of see the comparisons, you know. Even though we're talking about two different avatars here, um, you got similar light energies from two different time periods. So, you know, say that is to say that, you know, Tahuti is Papa Leva. Papa Leva is Tahuti. Um, but I like dealing with Papa, you know what I mean? Uh, because I got a lot of people in my circle. They you know they're doing voodoo, wouldn't we not? And they do with Papa Legua. Um, me, more personally, I deal with a Legua, so I deal with the Orishas. They deal with the Loas, you know what I mean? But a lot of people don't know that there's like, like 21 paths of Papa Legua, you know what I mean? So you gotta know which path that you know that you're walking, or which Papa Legua that you're working with. Um, you know, they're, they're like many different Papa Legua's, like Saint Lazarus. Is another form of Papa Legba, you know what I mean? So, um, um, dealing with Papa Legba, man, he, he really is a cool dude, man. Like, uh, he's kind of like that uncle or like that old man that, like, you know, that's like everybody's favorite uncle, you know what I mean? That knows everything, that's seen it all, that's been around, and can tell you what it is, 
you know what I mean? Like, he's that laid-back dude, you know what I'm saying? With that hat on, you know what I'm saying? Them glasses and, you know, the smooth, you know what I mean? Um, it's one of them things that um, you treat him like a child, but you respect him as an older man. Because, you know, you, you know he could be seen in different stages, you know? He represents cycles, you know, beginnings and endings. That's why he can be seen as a child or, or as a boy and then as an older man. And in another sense, he can also represent uh, the three stages of the God. You know what I mean? Like the boy. Then, you know, the second stage you have the warrior or the father. Then the third stage you have the sage. You know what I mean? He represents that old wise man who knows when and when not to speak. You dig what I'm saying? So it's like, uh, I just kind of want to put that out there today. You know what I mean? Just a little topic I want to touch on about Papa Leba equals Tahuti or Papa Leba and Tahuti. You know what I'm saying? the energy of and then if you want to connect them to a Kabbalah um, him and Tahuti go in the same spot in the Kabbalah you know what I mean because he represents the energy of Mercury or the Mercurian energy so in another sense whenever there's like a Mercury retrograde that's kind of like Papa Lake but just sitting back chilling like fuck it I'll get back to what I was doing here in a minute <laughs> uh, but yeah and like the Kemetic Pantheon Tehuti is like my spiritual father, you know. And of course, you know, I rock with a late one. So, you know, that's like my spiritual father as well, you know what I mean? And dealing with the Orishas. Uh, it's like, psh, even before I knew who a label, you know, was, he knew me, you know what I mean? A lot of people don't know is that you don't never have to really go to spirits. But most the time, they're already walking with you. You know, spirits come to you nine times out of ten. So, um, all this about being uh, initiated or you need to be initiated, it's a damn lie. You mean to tell me I need to be initiated to talk to the air? Oh, by the way, shit. You got to be initiated to go to a river, you know what I mean? To talk to, you know what I'm saying, Mama Oshun, or, you know, or River Mama, you know what I mean? Obia, you know what I mean? So it's like, nah, <laughs> that's game. But other than that, uh, peace family. Hopefully we can link up this weekend. We're going to have a nice discussion. Uh, I want y'all to tune in, you know. Uh, peace, peace.